What's up guys? It's late. It's a late night. This is a late night. This is going to be a late night video. And I'm not going to be in town very long. <laughs> um, because I'm, I'm door dashing and I'm getting ready to go to a little town called St. Michael's out in the country. There's not a lot of light there, so you're going to be seeing me very much. Uh, here, that's a little better for you. You're not going to be seeing me very much. If only this red arrow would actually turn green. And it's just sitting here for for a while. So, <laughs> um, I actually have a really important purpose of making this video and sharing this video. And it's that, that purpose is to share my testimony. And um, I, I've shared my testimony before in some ways, in some forms, in some amounts. On, on YouTube, but I'm going to share it again here and now. Um, I just know that there is so much information out there in the world. There's so many people who say this. There's so many people who say that. There's so many people who say, uh, I have my own truth. Uh, my truth is my truth, and your truth is your truth. And um, people have every different idea under the sun, right? But I want to testify to you that there is a real truth, a legit truth, real actual truth, indisputable truth. I mean, actually, it's not indisputable. You can dispute it, but it's not going to change the fact that it's true. That's the cool thing about it. And the cool thing about the truth is, the truth is the truth. It doesn't change, you know? It stays the same. Here we go. I'm so excited. This is, this is cool. This, is, this lighting is actually really cool. Um... Yeah, so I'm just really thankful, but I'm thankful that there is a never-changing truth. And um, I know what that truth is. Um, I don't know the I don't know the whole truth, but I know a, I know a good part of, good part of it. Um, I know I know a lot of it. And um, so basically, it's that it's that one. We are all sons and daughters, spirit sons and daughters of God. And not only that, but God is not just one God, aka one man, Father. He is, um, he has a wife, he has an eternal partner, he has a companion, an equal, and we know her as Heavenly Mother, but it's true. And God's only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, was sent to this world, he made this world. Actually, but he chose to come to this world as a sacrifice for us to um, pay the price for all sin and um, because of that we have a chance to get back to Heavenly Father and Heavenly Mother get back to God we have a chance to go to heaven because of that and that is something that is so invaluable but um, I also know that Joseph Smith is a prophet and not only is he just it's not just like he's a random prophet like oh he happens to be a prophet no Joseph Smith is and was the prophet of the restoration and what is the restoration the restoration of God's true church back on earth yes his church fell away yes his church was not on the earth for a time and that is because it apostatized. And that is why there are so many different denominations of churches, because of the apostasy. And if it wasn't for the apostasy, God's church... Well, if the 12 disciples, the 12 apostles, had conferred the priesthood onto other people, and that had continued the priesthood, and, and the priesthood never left the earth, that, and there wasn't an apostasy, then God's true church would still be on the earth. But the apostles never conferred the priesthood to anyone else. They died, and the priesthood left the earth. The priesthood is the authority of God, the authority to act and bless on behalf of God in His name, using His power, it's the ability. And that's why when you hear the word priest, it sounds like a serious thing. Well, it is a serious thing. It's an important thing. And um, there are plenty of priests. There are plenty of there are plenty of everything's on this earth that don't have the authority of God, but they say they do, or they say they act as if they do, 
and they say they're a prophet, they say they're apostle, they say they're this, they say they're that, but a lot of them and so many of them and most of them pretty much don't have the authority, they don't have the authority from God, they don't have the priesthood, therefore their authority is self-appointed, it's not God-given, and that's a huge deal, because if you're a prophet, that's great, but if you're a prophet under the authority of God, that's a different story. And because you know what I'm saying, like God gives us agency. I'm still testifying. I'm still testifying. God gives us agency, which is the ability to make our own choices. That's one of the most beautiful things He's ever given us. And we can choose to be. We can choose to do whatever we want with it. And so many people have, you know, just been trying to do the same thing that the. The Martin Luther and the, the, the people of the Reformation, the Protestants, when they fled from the traffic, from the uh, Catholic Church, the Catholics as well, everyone, every, any denomination, every denomination has been trying to do, and, just, and that's just that has just been to pursue the truth. That's all they've been trying to do is pursue the truth and do what's right. Well, there is an actual truth that, like I said, there is an absolute real truth, and that absolute truth is God and. And the fact that he has restored his church back to the earth. It is the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And um, not only is his church restored, but it's alive and well. And it's run by, um, it's headed by, this is my just my own language here. It's headed by, uh, uh, here's my peace sign, I'm trying to do a peace sign back here. <laughs> it's a... Uh, it's headed by the head of the church is Jesus Christ, but it is, um, let's say, run by prophets and apostles, and that's something so wonderful and it's true. And those prophets and apostles aren't self-appointed prophets and apostles, and they are not prophets and apostles with self-appointed authority or authority given to them by man. They are prophets and apostles with the authority given to them by God, and that is the difference. Um, that is the difference. The priesthood has been restored to the earth. We have the ability. There are Melchizedek priesthood holders on the earth, all over the earth. That is something that wasn't true since the 12 disciples, 12 apostles. It's just such an amazing thing. But it's back. It's back on earth. Um, I'm a priesthood holder. I am, I am one of those people. And um, there are so many others as well. But the priesthood is back on the earth. And the church is restored, and it's just such an amazing thing. And when you know, you know. When you know, I hate that cliche, but when you know, you know. And when you're in the church and you know what that means, and you know what, you, you know the scope of that, and you realize, you realize it, then that makes all the difference. And um, it's just such an amazing thing to be a member in the church. It's such an amazing thing to be alive in this time. It's such an amazing thing to be so blessed like I am, because I am so blessed. And I know it's because of the things I've done, <laughs> um, but I also know it's because of the love of my Savior, and I know it's because of the love of my Heavenly Father. And the reason I say it's because of the things I've done is because I know that when we make covenants and promises with God, He keeps His covenants. He keeps His promises with us. If we keep our promises with Him, He always keeps His promises with us no matter what. But when we hold up our end of the deal, that's when it gets even better. So that's the name of the game. Um, keeping covenants with God and um, following Him, following His commandments, and um, never leaving, never leaving the straight and narrow, never leaving the path, right? Staying on the path. We have an expression in the church called cling to the rod, the iron rod, because in the Book of Mormon, Lehi had a vision about the tree of life, and these people were trying to eat from the tree of life, and it was beautiful and amazing. Meanwhile, there's this huge building in the sky next door, and everyone's watching the people who are trying to get to the tree of life, and they're pointing to those people laughing and scoffing at them and, and mocking them. And along the road to the tree of life, there was a river, and um, on the other side of the river was that big building, the big spacious building where all those people, the scoffers were, the wicked, evil people. And so the way to get to the tree of life was there was along the walk of the river, there was an iron railing called the iron rod and the iron rod is a metaphor for the word of God for the scriptures and if you cling to the iron rod you will 
will not be led astray. In fact, you will be led straight to God. You will be led right to where you're supposed to be. And that's just the way it works. And it's just so amazing. Um, I'm so lucky. You're so lucky. Everybody's so lucky. We have so many things available to us if we'll just open our hearts and just open our minds and ask God and trust Him. Um, take the steps of faith. Make, Put action to your faith. Faith is faith without works is dead so put action to your faith don't just say you have faith and have faith have faith by by acting act your faith out act out your faith so make covenants with him keep your get baptized keep your covenants keep his commandments go to church pray read your scriptures be like christ pray to to be more like christ repent every day and that is how you get there that's the way so um, it's just amazing. I'm so thankful. So thankful my member in the church. It's so much more than I could have ever hoped for or could explain. I'm so thankful. And I was definitely not here a couple years ago. And I'm so thankful that I am now. And um, I've seen nothing but blessings and blessings and blessings and blessings. And it doesn't end. It's not imaginary. It's not in my head. It's not a fluke. It's none of that. It's the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm just so thankful for it. So I say all this in the name of Jesus Christ. And I love you. And I share this testimony with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.